from Manila to the globe, this is World News Feed, bringing you the biggest stories shaping our times. Good morning, I'm Rain Musni. Let's dive into the headlines, making a global impact. We begin in Japan where Prime Minister Shigeru Ishiba's coalition faces serious political backlash following Sunday's election. Voters overwhelmingly punished Ishiba's government with its ruling Liberal Democratic Party or LDP, which has been in power for 70 years. Public broadcaster NHK reported all but 20 of the 465 seats accounted for. The LDP and junior coalition partner Komeito took 209 seats in the lower House of Parliament. That was down from the 279 seats they held previously and marked the coalition's worst election result since it briefly lost power in 2009. The Mainz Opposition Constitutional Democratic Party of Japan, or CDPJ, had 143 seats so far, up from 98 previously. Agence France Press reports economic issues like inflation and scandals involving LDP members deeply hit or hurt the party support. Critics say Ishiba's policies, which backtracked on progressive reforms for gender equality and Bank of Japan rate hikes, have alienated younger urban voters. Now facing a tough path, Ishiba will have to rebuild alliances before the upper house election next summer. Political analysts say the outcome could determine his future as Japan's leader. In the former Soviet Republic of Georgia, elections are also in the spotlight as the EU calls for transparency. As the country voted in its parliamentary elections, reports of voter intimidation and irregularities surfaced. Georgia's Electoral Commission said on Sunday the ruling party won nearly 54% of the vote in the parliamentary election as opposition parties disputed the results and vote monitors reported significant violations. European Council President Charles Michel demands a swift and transparent investigation, stating that Georgia's EU candidacy hinges on fair elections. Observers are monitoring closely as Georgia's political future could shape its path toward European integration. This vote comes amidst growing tensions with Russia, making Georgia's alignment with the West even more crucial. Russian President Vladimir Putin issues a stark warning, saying that if Ukraine strikes Russian soil using long-range missiles provided by Western allies, there will be a harsh response. Speaking at a recent defense meeting, Putin accused NATO of escalating tensions, claiming these new weapons could further destabilize the region. The statement follows renewed Russian bombardments on Ukrainian cities, sparking fresh fears of an extended conflict. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky claims North Korean troops are poised to be deployed by Russia on the battlefield in Ukraine as early as this weekend. This is consistent with a warning last week from the U.S. that some 3,000 soldiers from Pyongyang had been seen training in several locations in Russia. Western officials have warned that North Korean units joining the fight would stoke the almost three-year war and bring geopolitical consequences as far away as the Indo-Pacific region. U.S. National Security Advisor Kirby said that the National Security Advisors from the U.S., Japan and South Korea call on Russia and the DPRK to seize these actions that only serve to expand the security implications of Russia's brutal and illegal war beyond Europe and into the Indo-Pacific. If they do deploy uh, to fight against Ukraine, they're fair game. They're fair targets. Meanwhile, a senior official in the Ukrainian presidential office told the Associated Press that Zelensky had canceled a planned visit to Kyiv by United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres. A photograph of Guterres shaking hands with the Russian President Putin at the summit triggered an outcry in Ukraine. 
news on the U.S. elections in a moment. Stay tuned to World News Feed.